Okay, Mr. Palmer here. Uh, a little video again about index sequential files. Next one in the series on uh, file organization. So basically, this one is ba looking at the benefits of index sequential files and uh, looking at the way they actually work. All right. So quick recap here on file organization. And before you move any further as well, make sure you go over your notes on sequential files. Okay. So basically, why are we thinking looking at file organization? Records are being used to store data. Records are saved in a file. So therefore, if files are created from records and they need to be organized, so different methods of file organization basically have um, uh, different advantages. Okay, so in terms of a sequential file, it was better than a serial file because data was being stored in order of the key field. That meant it was easier to search compared to a serial file because uh, if the key field returned was larger than your search criteria, so you were searching for five, but then all of a sudden you returned six. And it meant that the data you were looking for uh, did not exist in the file. However, the problems with that were that uh, it was a linear search from the beginning of the file. So if what you were looking for was at the end of the file, it was going to take absolutely ages because it was going to have to go, the computer is going from the beginning of the file all the way to the end, trying to match up that data that you're searching for. Um, also, there are memory issues in terms of if uh, you are deleting records, then it's going to be doubling up the, um, the data in memory while it's doing that. Uh, deletion process or if you're directly inserting records in again you've got that doubling up of memory so an index if you just have a quick look here is a, an index from a book of mountains and the index basically is telling me where the start of the information that i'm searching for is okay and so um an index sequential file basically works in the similar way okay Basically, it's like a sequential file where records are sequenced ordered in order of the key field, but there's also an index so that you can jump to blocks of records directly. So the index basically consists of a key and an address of the physical disk location, so you can jump straight there. All right. So why would you use an index sequential file? Basically, if you need to access both groups of records sequentially or individually, okay, then you'll be able to get to them quickly. So for example, we want to access records in a sequence in a school because we're doing a register, but we also might want to access an individual student's record quite quickly so that we can update some particular data that belongs to that student. Okay, and the index here that I'm talking about is basically created and maintained by a database management system. Okay, what does that look like? Something like this. Okay, so on the left hand side you have the index and on the right hand side you have the, um, the actual data itself, the records. Okay. So if I'm looking for um, Eloise, then basically I will look in the index, E is at position 8, I will jump straight to position 8, and then I'll be able to scan through the E records to find my match. So in this case, I'll be lucky because Eloise is the first one, and so therefore I've, been, I've picked it up quickly. If I'm looking for Christine, I'll look in my index, I see C it starts at 4, I jump to record 4, and then from there I will basically do my linear search through that block of records looking to retrieve the data that um, you know looking for that data that I'm specifically searching for okay so you can see it's much much quicker than actually starting at the beginning of the file and working your way down doing that match against every individual record so straight away you can see the benefits of it okay um, and uh, remember the key thing is that the index helps you to jump to a block of records within the file so that you can start um, searching for the the data that you want quickly. All right, thank you very much.